Welcome to this No Sew Crochet Otter tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this otter plushie. Let's get straight into the video. So the materials that you will need are a crochet hook, I like to use five millimeters, scissors, a yarn needle, 12 millimeter safety eyes. You will need weight six yarn in toffee and cream. And then if you want to embroider the mouth, then you'll need dark brown. Toffee will be referred to as color A and cream will be referred to as color B in this pattern. Any stitches done in color B cream will be underlined at the top of the screen. As well, you will need stuffing. So to start off, you're going to grab your cream colored yarn or color B. And we're going to begin by doing six single crochets into the magic ring. So I like to use the two chain method for my magic ring as I find it easier. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So to start off, you're going to do a slip knot. And then you're going to want to chain two. Now your six single crochets for the magic ring will go into your first chain that you made. So that will be acting as our magic ring. So go ahead and do six single crochets into your magic ring. Now for round two, we'll do six increases, which will take us up to 12 stitches. An increase is doing two single crochets into one stitch. So we're gonna do that all the way round. So now we're going to put our stitch marker in and I like to use scrap yarn for my stitch marker but you can use whatever you want. So I'm going to walk you around the next round and we're going to be having two color changes for the ears and that will be to color A. So grab your toffee yarn and put that to the side for a moment and we're going to start off by doing a single crochet. So one single crochet and then we are going to do an increase. But at the end of the increase, we're going to color change to toffee. So we do the first single crochet of our increase and then we start the second single crochet and pull up one loop. But then we're gonna finish off our increase with our toffee colored yarn. So we pull through with our toffee colored yarn and then we will be tying that to the cream yarn. Now with our toffee colored yarn, we are going to do a bobble stitch. So I'm gonna show you how to do a bobble stitch and work you through it. So we're going to begin by yarning over and then we're going to go into the next stitch and pull through so that we have three loops on our hook. Now we're gonna yarn over and pull through two of those loops so that we have two loops on our hook. Now we'll yarn over, go back into the exact same stitch and then pull through so that we have four loops on our hook. Then we'll yarn over and pull through two of those loops so that we have three loops on our hook. Now yarn over, go back into that same stitch and pull through. Then yarn over and pull through two loops of the hook. And now you have four loops on your hook. Then yarn over, go back into that same stitch, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops so that you have five loops on your hook in total. So we're gonna be color changing straight back to cream. So what we're going to do is we're gonna finish off this bobble stitch with our cream yarn. So you've currently got five loops on your hook and we are going to grab our cream yarn and finish off and pull through all five of those loops with our cream yarn. So yarn over with the cream yarn and then pull through all five loops. Now immediately into the next stitch, we are just going to do an increase. So immediately move on and do an increase into the next stitch with our cream yarn. And then you can pop out the bobble stitch from the inside. So that is our first ear there. Now we are going to do single crochet increase times by two. And at the end of the second increase that we do, we are gonna color change back to toffee so that we can do our next bobble stitch. So go ahead and do single crochet increase times by two.
So I'm just finishing off this increase by switching back to the toffee colored yarn. And now we're going to do another bubble stitch in toffee. So go ahead and do your second bubble stitch and get up to five loops on your hook and then we will switch back to cream yarn. So once you've got those five loops on your hook, we'll just grab our cream colored yarn and finish off the bubble stitch with our cream yarn. Then immediately we'll do an increase into the next stitch. And then we can pop out our second bubble stitch there. So you can see we have our two bubble stitches on either side. So now we can just cut the toffee yarn off for now. We will need it later, but not for quite a few rounds. So we'll just pop that to the side. And to finish off this round, we'll just do a single crochet into the next stitch and then an increase into the following stitch. So now for the next round, we are going to do two single crochets and an increase times by six. And that'll take us up to 24 stitches in total. Now for the following round, we are going to do three single crochets and an increase times by six. Now we are going to single crochet for the next three rounds. So go ahead and single crochet for three rounds straight.
Then for the following round, after you've done three single crochet rounds, you'll want to do three single crochets and a decrease times by six, and this will take us down to 24 stitches. Then for the following round, we are going to do two single crochets and a decrease times by six, which will take us down to 18 stitches. Then for the final round in cream, we are going to do single crochet decrease times by six, and this will take us down to 12 stitches. At the end of this round, we will color change to toffee. So once you've color changed to toffee, you can just tie it to the cream yarn and then cut off the cream yarn as we will not be needing it anymore in this pattern. And then for the following round in our toffee colored yarn, we are going to do single crochet increase times by six. Now we are going to put the safety eyes in. So the safety eyes will go between rounds eight and nine and they should go just below like each of the ears. So it should be equal on either side and they should be around six or so stitches apart. So now we are just going to clip those in just like that. So the following round is going to have some bubble stitches in it. So these bubble stitches should be almost lined up with like the ears and sort of below the eyes, but more towards the center as they're going to be the arms. So they should be around here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do six single crochets, then a bubble stitch, then four single crochets, then a bubble stitch, and then six single crochets. But if your stitch marker is not currently centered at the back, then you may end up needing to do seven single crochets at the start and then the bubble stitch. And then at the end, you'll do five single crochets rather than six. So if you need to make adjustments to make sure that the bubble stitches are sort of in line at the front, then that is totally fine. Just make sure that you do a total of 16 single crochets and two bubble stitches. So you can see that the bubble stitches are lined up here. And then once you've done that, you can move on to the next round. Now you're going to single crochet for three rounds straight. So go ahead and single crochet for the following three rounds.
Once you've single crocheted for three rounds, we are now going to add some stuffing. Then once you've added some stuffing, we can move on to the next round. So for the next round, we're going to be doing the same thing that we did in this round with the bobble stitches. And we'll do six single crochets and a bobble stitch, then four single crochets and a bobble stitch, and then six single crochets to finish off. But these bobble stitches need to line up with your bobble stitches from this round. So if you need to make adjustments with the single crochets and like how many you do on each side, then feel free to, to make sure that the bobble stitches line up. So this is what the little arms and legs should look like after that round. And now for the following round, we are going to do single crochet decrease times by six, and this will take us down to 12 stitches. Now we're going to go ahead and add some stuffing to the body. And once you've added stuffing, we can continue around. So for the next round, you're going to do six decreases and this will take us down to six stitches. So now we're sort of moving on to the tail at this point and what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet for the following four rounds. So go ahead and single crochet for four rounds straight. Then once you've single crocheted round, we can leave a little bit of a tail for sewing the end shut and then cut that off there and then pull through to finish off. So you just want to add a little bit of stuffing to the tail. And now we're going to sew the end shut. So we're going to go in and out of the front loops only all the way round. So we'll go into the first front loop here and pull through and then out of the second front loop and pull through. Then into the third front loop, pull through and out of the fourth front loop. Then into the next front loop and out of the final front loop. Then you wanna pull tight to close off the end and then I'm just going to slowly bring this tail through to a random part in the body. So I'll just thread it in and out. Okay. 
And then once you're happy with where you brought it through to, you can just cut off the remaining tail. Now we're going to grab our dark brown yarn and we're gonna embroider the little nose. So this is what we are looking at and the nose is gonna go about here, um, right between the eyes. So I've just got my yarn needle and I've got the brown yarn and we're gonna thread it in from just up here and the middle point is right about here. So we're gonna to want to sort of make a little line across these three middle stitches. So I've just brought it down to the outside of those three middle stitches. And then I'm just gonna bring it across and go through those three middle stitches here. So just I'm just gonna form a line right in the center between the eyes. Yeah, just like that. Now I'm just gonna bring my yarn needle down one row and sort of in between in the middle of the line that we've just made here. So I'm just bringing it straight up to the center here. And then we are just pulling through. So just like that. And then I'm just gonna go across this top line once more and then bring it back to the original point. So we sort of just made a little bit of a T shape. And then what we can do is we can make these tails a bit shorter, then tie them together and cut them off. So we'll poke the remaining tail inside. Now, finally, if you like, you can just grab some pink yarn and embroider some blush right below the eyes. So I'm just gonna bring it in from this side and I'm just gonna bring it across these two stitches below the eye and then back across to the original point. And we just wanna go across that line twice and then bring it to the other side. And we'll just go across two stitches on the other side as well. And then just bring it back to the original point. Then we will just do the same thing as we did with the tails before and tie them together and poke them inside. And this is what the completed otter looks like. I hope that you enjoyed crocheting your otter. If you did and you would like the written pattern, it will be linked in the description as it's available on my Etsy store. I come out with new videos every week, so make sure to subscribe if you'd like some more tutorials. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.